growing up in Germany was like as far as you can be from monkeys and uh, I just remember when I was like 14, 15 watching Kenny Reed being in Indonesia, like getting his hat stolen by a monkey. It felt so exotic to just go so far out of the major cities that skateboarding has known. It just uh, planted a seed in me to really uh, take spot hunting to the next level. And I think that was more or less the spark for me to start um, my skatementary series called Visual Traveling. Oh, watch out with the backpack. Oh, he's gonna grab it. Well, he's got one eye. That's already a bad sign. So he's probably good at fighting. Should we throw a rock? Uh oh, no, I'm not. Okay, okay. You can have the backpack. You can have the backpack. <laughs> In the search of a friendly monkey. And imagine like, like during World War II when it was just like bombs exploding and stuff and you had to like change your roll of film. Yeah. Yeah. More or less like a year ago, started filming a documentary uh, for Showtime on Sophia the robot. Do you know where you are? Of course. I'm in New York City and I'm on my favorite show, The Tonight Show. She is in an office space for Hanson Robotics just down here from Monkey Mountain. So I think we're just gonna go down and see if we can turn her on, ask her some questions, get some 16 millimeter. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys Sophia. <laughs> From monkey to robots, I think it's quite a nice transition. Yeah. Even if you've got six million followers, you're never gonna get what Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty much. Do you have any other hobbies that you want to share with me? Just, I skateboard. Do you know? Please tell me more about this. It's uh, you push on a, on a board with four wheels. It's pretty extreme, apparently. I like to prospect about the future, and I'm curious what you think about it. Um, hopefully not dystopian. What do you think? Uh, tossing Why back specifically do you hope for that? No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't. Please, do, do not get my question wrong. Uh, I just want to actually just film you with uh, some 16 millimeter film. It's uh, analog film. Do you, do you know what that, that would is? be great. Yeah. Maybe you can take pictures of my dogs and my dog and I too. Where, where's your dog? California. Your dog is in California. <laughs> okay. Do you know what Jenkum is? No, I am not sure what you mean by Jenkins. Are you referring to a specific Jenkins? No, Jenkum. Did you understand the ender from Mark Suchu's part in Verso? I personally don't care. <laughs> Just gotta watch out with the lights. The lights are the ones that get you. Hong Kong has changed a lot over the last four years when my wife and I decided to move out here. And um, unfortunately, the neon signs are slowly fading away. But uh, nevertheless, the city still has this energy, which is uh, a great to be a part of. Uh, so I got into making art out of money. 
It's been kind of a little bit of an art project for me to start folding currency and make big pattern pieces out of it. So sometimes I come to this mall because uh, I'm looking for certain type of like notes that I need to piece it all together. Paper currency is a way for me to go back in time. Like it's the same as when I look at a photo of us or look at a ledge in Barcelona. Like I look at these currencies like right now I look at Gandhi and uh, I remember like like a dish that I bought in, in Bangalore or in Chennai costing this much. And this is like roughly two USD. Well, I want to find the Madagascar note. I just want to show you guys it's the most beautiful note you'll ever find. No Madagascar, maybe. I'll show it. I have it at home. Hi, hello. Hello. As a kid, I was always uh, very enticed on uh, who are these people on the notes and what do they represent of each country. But nothing has been uh, chopped up, everything is folded in my defense. So if someone doesn't like the art, we could take it apart and uh, you got money in your hands. So I knew I got a little bit obsessed once I started ordering money from eBay and I would get packages like these from, from Russia with like moldy notes from Soviet times. Some of these notes are worth like pennies. It just became a bit of an obsession during uh, COVID to like really find unique spots around Hong Kong. So I just went kind of nuts. It's, um, it's all cataloged and ready to go once, uh, once the borders are open. So red and orange indicate skateboarding spots, Green is for like backdrops for shoots and films and commercials. And blacks are peaks. It's just quite nice seeing uh, the city fill up with uh, different spots. I used to film with a 16 millimeter back when I was younger, but I really put a halt on it over the last decade. And now got enticed and just started like uh, mixing chemicals to develop film at home. 